Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you watched the last video, you know that we made a really big life decision and we sold our house, like 90% of our possessions, and we decided to live tiny in a camper. And as promised, I wanted to give you guys a little tour and a little glimpse of our new home on wheels. So we are the new proud owners of a Heartland Cyclone 4006. And I just wanted to give you a really quick tour of like the bare bones camper. So we have not moved anything in at this point. We have not made any alterations or changes to kind of make the camper our own. We have a few things that we plan to do to make it more to make it feel more like a home for our family and make it work for us. So I'm just going to kind of just walk you through show you how we're moving from like 2500 square feet down to 450 square feet. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is our kitchen. So obviously it's gonna have all the things that you're used to seeing in a kitchen. We do have a really nice big farmhouse style sink. So that will be really good for all the dishes because you will notice that there is no dishwasher. So I have instilled my four little dishwashers. They are going to be training to um, keep all of our dishes clean. You have your pretty large microwave. So that will be nice to have you have a three um, burner stove and then you have a smaller little oven. So we will definitely have to be learning how to alter our cooking style. We are going to bring along a lot of like our crock pots, instant pots, things like that, that we can put in here. You're going to notice that the cabinets, there's like a lot of storage in here for a camper. It's really, really awesome, but I'm not very tall. So we are going to have to find some step stools or something to make this work but you can see they are i can't even touch the bottom, the bottom shelf so we're gonna have to make some adjustments figure out a step stool or something like that but lots of really great storage obviously we're gonna have to figure out how to arrange all of our things and we definitely did have to condense all of the things that were in our kitchen um you know you can't bring all of the glassware and all of the heavy things that you might be used to using or all of the things that you might use for entertaining. We're not going to have, you know, big, huge parties, so you don't need all of those things. But yeah, lots of really great storage everywhere, which will be kind of fun to figure out where to put everything. So if you move over here, we do have a residential size fridge. So if you can see, it does open really large. We have six People in our family, they eat a lot, so we realized we needed not one of the small camper fridges, we needed something a little bit larger. So this will be really nice to house everything. And then over here, this is our pantry. So it's pretty good size pantry for a camper. I'm sure we will still stuff it to the max. So that kind of moves us into our living room. And one of the big reasons why we chose this particular model is this right here. So being that we have a large family and we have six people in our family, we were really looking for something that could actually allow every single person a place to sit. So you're notice we have a love seat, a love seat, and a love seat that has seating for six. And honestly, if we needed to, we could probably squeeze you know, two adults and one child on each individual couch. So I'm sure, you know, based off of how our kids like to sit in our own sticks and our old sticks and bricks house, and they like to like glue to you, I'm sure there'll be plenty of times like that. But when we need a little bit of space, we have a particular seat for each individual um, person. So that was a big thing. So another thing that this one does, so the other two um, couches, they uh, fully recline. So they have the legs come up and they recline. This couch does not recline, but it folds out into kind of like, I guess it's somewhere in between a twin and a full size bed. So if you needed a little extra sleeping arrangements, this does fold out into a bed, which is nice. All right, so then this points to our TV. So we have a TV, we have a surround system that actually can um, play music and anything um, outside or in the back part of our camper. We have our um, fireplace and then just again, some extra storage um, around and then again up here. I'm not sure what we'll be putting up there because I can barely reach it, but that's the living room. All right, now let's head up the stairs and I'll show you the master bedroom. So 
So starting out right here, we have the closet. So we have some storage cubbies over here. And then when we open here, you can see it actually opens up pretty wide. There is a shelf, you have lots of storage in here and some more cubbies in the back, but it looks like a really big um, closet, but until you actually try to um, downsize your wardrobe and all the clothes, um, you'll be really surprised at how fast you can actually fill it up. So that has been one of the challenges we have been facing. So now I'll show you this. So this is kind of, you know, your drawers, but there's a really cool hidden feature right here. So if you pull this out, you can kind of make a desk, but there's also, so it's a really great like space saving um, option to be able to have that, to be able to put it down when it's not in use and be able to use this as a table or just have things on the top. So that's really cool. Again, the storage, you have storage in these drawers and these little cubbies, not a lot of great storage, but as far as space wise, you're not going to be able to fit a lot of stuff in there. So that points us to our bed. You're going to notice that it is sitting up. So if you want to be able to sit up in bed, you know, to be able to watch something, you have that option, but you do, we do have a button that just lays our bed back down flat. So this is a king size. That was one of our requirements. We were really used to a king. Um, so we wanted to be able to keep that. So if you're thinking about living in a camper and you don't, you think, you know, you're going to have to downsize, you do actually get to keep your king size bed or can rather. So let's go ahead. I'll show you our bathroom. So with the bathroom, this is our one and only full bath. So our camper does, um, have a one and a half bath, um, layout. So this is the only one that has a shower. So everyone's going to be using, that's going to be a really big adjustment for our family. We were used to like, you know, to go to this bathroom, to go to this bathroom, knocking out showers really quick. This will be an adjustment, but something that we're willing to give a shot. We don't really have a whole lot of choice here. So this is the tiny bathroom. As you can see, there's not a lot of space, but it's going to work. So we have our full shower here. You have your sink here and then some storage up and down. And you're going to notice too, that there are two entrances here. So you can enter from our bedroom into the um, bathroom, or you have an entrance from the hallway next to the stairs, which we came up. So that is the master bathroom. All right, now I'm going to go ahead. We're going to go to the back of our camper. So what we got is actually a toy hauler and we're not actually going to be hauling any toys. We're actually going to be hauling our kids in the back. So this is when I mentioned something about, um, where we're going to have a lot of changes and things that we want to do. The majority of those changes are happening back in the toy hauler. So let me go ahead and just show you the raw, what it looks like now. So it does have a door that sections off. That was really big for us. This is going to be the kids room. So they're all going to be sharing this space. And we wanted to, at the end of the night, when it's time to go to bed, we wanted a door, something to set, set them apart from us to allow us to kind of continue our evening. So that was a really big criteria for us. So again, this is not how we plan to have this look for the for their room when when it's all said and done so you can see that right now we have these little um, couches that actually fold down kind of like little benches they fold down into a bed so you can actually make kind of like a queen size bed and if you can see there's actually one on the top so these are on what's called a happy jack system and they essentially work like bunk beds that raise and lower. So we have switches that will pull them down, make them bunk beds. If we are ready, like after in the morning, after we've all slept, you can push them all up and it opens up this room completely to be a room. So you're not having to keep them as couches or as a bed throughout the day. You actually gain all of this floor space back, which is what we're planning to do to make these both into bunk beds and then allow us in the morning to pull them up and have this for homeschool or just playing games or to eat or to do lots of different things. So again, this is um, 
how we have them for now, <laughs> but we'll have you come in and you guys can see the other side. It also comes with a loft. So if at any point we do have three boys and a girl, it could be useful to either put Eden up there to allow her to have her own space since she's the only girl, or my oldest is really vying for this as a separate space for him. Right now we're kind of leaning toward using it for storage for their clothes, their toys, their games. It has a little pull out ladder that you they can climb up in. It's open in that area. And then again too, we have a little bit of storage up here. Again, gonna need a ladder to be able to access it for short people. Now I'll go ahead and show you the backspace. So currently it is raining buckets outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you. The toy hauler aspect is if you actually wanted to haul a toy, you could drive up an ATV, a golf cart, things like that, and put them in this area and be able to transport it from campsite to campsite. Again, I said we're not using it for a toy hauler purpose. We are using it for our children. But you have doors back here that slide open. You can see our fencing that goes along, and this is what you would actually use to drive up your toy, but if you're not using it for that, it actually lays down and it becomes your back porch, and that's how we're going to be utilizing it. So when this lays down, the fence goes along the perimeter of the uh, porch, then you just gain that much more square footage to be able to have for your family. So once it stops raining, I hope to be able to give you a tour of the outside of the camper as well. And then the last thing here in the toy hauler, which was really great, again, I said we did not have full two full bathrooms but they do have a half bath so they have their toilet and sink will be just enough for them to get by and then back here we have a place to be able to hook up a tv and then also a washer dryer hookup so those are eventual additions that we hope to make to this toy hauler to make it a little bit more. Having a washer and dryer will be great with four kids who are constantly changing their clothes throughout the day. So that will be nice to not have to go to a laundromat um, several times throughout the week. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and transition and give you guys a little bit of a tour of the outside, let you have a little glimpse of what it looks like. All right, so now I'm just gonna give you a little tour of the outside of our fifth wheel. So obviously, um, to even be able to get in, it's pretty simple, just kinda have to open up, but that's where our stairs are. So in order to get them down, pull a little lever, and then down you go. And then obviously we have a screen door. So we can close the screen. Or if we need to close the whole door, we can do that as well. So if we move this way, this is where we have our basement. So this is all of our storage for all the things that we're gonna have outside. Power cords, all of the chairs, all of the tools, anything that we might uh, have outside toys or just anything that's really just gonna be used for the outdoors and we'll have easy access. And as you can see, it has a full through access. So I have access on this side here and I actually also have access to it. Here as well with a little latch so we can get it in three different places so you're not always trying to reach something that's really far away so if I kind of backtrack a second we have our um, LP gas here so our liquid propane so kind of not super exciting but still need it um, on this too we have more of our control panels we have our inverter our hydraulics as well as battery stuff here and then below you see that we also have a generator so that'll allow us to in the future be able to do some boondocking so again this is our other propane tank on this side looks exactly like the other side and this was the other side of the pass-through storage we have our water control here. This is where we'll be able to hook up to the city water and be able to um, get water to the rest of the rig. And you'll notice too, we have a total of three slides and two of the slides in our camper 
or on this side. So this, um, when we walked in and you saw the master bedroom, this is to the master bedroom and this is the living room, the one couch that lays out into a bed. So over here, this is where we could have, or where we have our access for our gas for our generator if we wanted to have gas um, for our toy hauler to be able to fill up our toy hauler or to our toys for our toy hauler You have your own little gas nozzle here um, Again, we won't be using that so much for hauling toys, but maybe can siphon it from our toy hauler to our um, generator So this was a really fun piece that I was really looking forward to showing you this is our back deck So I'm going to show you how we get it undone and again just to point out it is like on a hinge system so even I can do this on my own I don't need any help to be able to do it so again you're seeing the doors that are on the other side of our toy hauler that is the, the room for the kids. And then this was the fence or the gate that I was talking about that we have to kind of keep kids from running off the side. And they all kind of just latch in there in the corner. All right, so there you go, this adds an awesome amount of square footage to the end uh, to the back of the rig so we're just more living space especially when it's going to be nice out you'll notice up at the top there's also an awning so it's going to come out and give you a little bit of extra shade out here in the back would be perfect place for more area for the kids to play to have some chairs out here if you have a nice breeze or just to be able to relax so now you'll notice that we have a little door right here so this pulls forward once you release this and then we actually have a set of stairs that you can use right here and they're actually stored underneath so right here is where the stairs are stored for the back uh, porch so you'll notice here too here's our other slide we have our front door that comes off that slide and then we have a couple of awnings on this side of the rig as well this is the door to the toy hauler and it opens Similarly, except that the stairs are actually right here. They just pull here real, real simply and kind of just fold out. And the same way, the door operates the same. So, and then there you have your screen door for that. So I have one more thing to show you, and that is the outdoor kitchen. Oh, and it need a little extra height, but there is a magnet that holds the door up so it won't come back down. But out here, we have a little grill here that actually hooks into our liquid propane tank so we just run it through here and then we also have just a little mini fridge you can keep stocked with some drinks and snacks and have easy access to it from the outside all right guys that's it that's the tour of our tiny home our little house on wheels um we have a lots to learn we have lots of things to make it feel more like a home um, we have all of our things to bring in and to fill in. I hope to give you guys an updated video as to what that might look like later on down the road when we have all of our stuff in here, when we're living in it, when we've maybe transformed the back to make it feel a little bit more homey, a little less like a toy hauler. So if you guys have any questions, um, love to answer them. Like I said, we are learning. This is all completely new to us, so we will be learning right along with you. And as always, guys, have a blessed day.